This time I am going to say a few basic things about the infinitive form of verbs in Somali. Uh, in English, the infinitive has no ending and it's the form that is used after different auxiliary verbs and also uh, very often after the word to. Uh, here are a few auxiliaries, will, will sing, may, eat, must, stop, can, a. And uh, a couple of instances where the infinitive occurs after to, like used, to read, loves, to talk. Um, and in, the infinitive actually also occurs in uh, some other constructions, like um, after an object, as in I watch them clean the windows. Uh, in Somali, there is an infinitive form uh, and the use uh, is more restricted than in English. So the Somali infinitive is only used together with auxiliary verbs. Uh, so it, it's, it's um, less often uh, used or it occurs less often in texts than the English infinitive. Uh, the small infinitive ends either in i or in n. Um, and uh, the number of auxiliary verbs in Somali is, is smaller than in English. So Somali has just below 10 uh, auxiliary verbs. And here are five quite common ones, will, dona, used to, jire, would, laha, can, kara, and cannot, waya. Uh, and uh, as we can see here, the verb sing has the infinitive ending e, e si. And that is a basic infinitive ending that occurs uh, with uh, basic verbs, non-derived verbs. It's, it's a kind of simplest uh, case. Um, and uh, yeah, instead of the present tense, uh, uh, there is this e in the infinitive. Uh, but uh, if the present tense R uh, is preceded by Y, like SIA, uh, then uh, the infinitive ending is N, uh, added directly after the vowel. So the Y goes away. So uh, the stem is actually and just see in the verb give and the y in the present tense is a consonant that is inserted uh, just in order to avoid um, the the collision of the different vowels so it's like a buffer uh, that is inserted between vowels uh, so the stem ends in a vowel, and that is why uh, we use the infinitive ending n after this stem that ends in a vowel. Um, but there is also a third type of verbs uh, that uh, end in uh, da or, t or in ta in the present tense, uh, like buys, eeps, eeps, da. And uh, in this type of verbs, the da, ta is replaced by n 
and the N is preceded by A. So we get Ibsandona will buy. And um, these three rules, or these three types of verbs, are the reason that, that uh, grammars usually divide Somali verbs and explain the verb inflection as consisting of three groups or conjugations. Um, so the infinitive form is, is one of the main reasons for dividing Somali verbs into uh, conjugations. Um, there is more to say about the three conjugations and the similarities and differences between uh, the conjugations and there is also more to say about all the auxiliaries uh, so that are two topics that we will be coming back to